Hello, welcome to Skydive Puerto Rico, located at Antonio Huarbe Airport in Arecibo. We'll be discussing everything related to the airport, jump run, holding area, landing pattern, landing area, alternate landing areas, and obstacles on our drop zone. Trade winds in Puerto Rico are constant 95% of the time, blowing from the east, northeast, or southeast. That's why the jump run is usually from west to east, parallel to our runway. Most days have winds ranging from 8 miles per hour to 17 miles per hour, increasing to 18 miles per hour to 22 miles per hour later in the day. When spotting, it is best to never go past the landfill. At Skydive Puerto Rico, we don't apply a hook on jump run, but it might be applied during special events. If so, it will be discussed during the event. The landing pattern is a right-hand pattern since the airport runway is to the north. We're usually at a thousand feet above the hangars to the far east, at 600 feet above the Skydive Puerto Rico hangar, and 300 feet in the middle of the landing area. Tandems and D licenses land in the area within the ditches, the area closest to our facilities. On the other side of the ditch and flags, all other parachutes and AC licenses land. Be aware of the parallel and perpendicular ditches in the main landing area and alternate landing areas within the airport. There are several alternate landing areas to the north, east, and west, both inside and outside the airport, such as these and these. Be cautious of power lines around the road to the west and north of the airport. South of the airport, there are no alternate landing zones, only obstacles. Among the most obvious obstacles are trees at the eastern end of the landing area, the airport terminal, and the factory to the north. Further north and northeast is the Caño Tiburones, a large swamp that reaches almost to Casa y Pesca Beach and covers almost all of Arecibo. Don't land there. Beach Landings The landing pattern on the beach is from the left over the sea. Depending on the weather and waves, consider making a downwind near the sand and a shorter base. Don't try to land too far at the end of the beach as there are many rocks and it's dangerous. You have the entire beach to land on. Use it. Then worry about walking to the beach parking lot at the eastern end. Be very careful of swimmers, palm trees, logs, and sometimes even volleyball nets or any beach sport set up by bathers. No swoops over the water or show-offs for present sunbathers are allowed. Be cautious and understand that you can injure or even kill an onlooker.